What's up guys, I'm Nathan and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my fan made concept for 6 star Yugi no. in Roblox All Star Tower Defense so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's just get into it. So this character is gonna be extremely OP because we literally have a leak one update after and well the only other character that got a 5 star and 6 star side by side was Blackbeard and he was game changing. And he, I'm pretty sure, has been the meta for one of the longest times, of course, except for maybe, you know, Irwin. But still, like, he was extremely OP. So, well, I made Yugi also extremely OP, which is why only one Yugi can be placed, because otherwise it's just gonna be stupidly broken. But anyway, placement is gonna be only 500 cash, damage will be 500, range will be 30, SP will be 5. He would get plus Dark Magician, which is AoE Cone. That's basically the, the, the sort of like the starting stand. The, uh, stand. Oh my gosh, Jojo. Jojo reference is getting into Yugi. Okay, anyway, guys. Um, upgrade 1 is going to be 1000 cash. Damage will be 1500. Range will be 35. And SPA will still be 5. He's still going to be using Dark Magician. He's just going to be shooting this huge blast. And then we're the next one's going to be upgrade 2, which is 2000 cash. He's going to have 2500 damage, uh, 40 range, 6.5 SPA, so that's gonna go up. And he will get plus magician of black chaos, chaos scepter blast. And that's going to be also a cone. He's basically going to get this giant uh, dark ball, I guess, and just shoot it down in an AOE cone. Then uh, upgrade 3 is going to be starting get, to get expensive, it's going to be 10,000 cash, damage will now go up significantly to 20,000, range will go up to 60, SPA however is going to go up like mental to 15 and he will get plus Egyptian gods which is going to be a wide away cone kind of like Nether. and well basically this is like one of the main cards that Yami Yugi actually uses. Then we have uh, upgrade 4 which is going to be even more expensive coming in at 25,000 cash. Damage will now only go up to 25,000, range will go up to 65, SPA will go up to 15. But it's his new ability that is going to make this upgrade worth it. And that is going to be Slife of the Sky Dragon which is going to permanently buff all of your units but not your teammate units by 200% which is the same as Max Owen buff. Now the reason it's like that is because this uh, one Egyptian God card in fact no. buffs all the cards that are held by you. So it's not gonna buff your teammate stuff but permanently what you have. Uh, everything that's in no matter where you're placing it is going to get buffed nonetheless. Making it a lot easier to even use like burning units but of course like I said both you and your teammate are going to have to have it, not like for Owen. Upgrade 5 is going to be 50,000 cash, damage will now be 35,000, range will go up to 75, SPA 15, and he's going to get another ability from his other Egyptian god, which is Obelisk the Tormentor, which will increase his damage to infinite for just one attack, and it can be used only once. So basically, once you're seeing that it's pretty much about to be over and like everything has a lot of HP, you just click the skill and it's basically one shot. Even if it has like a billion HP, which is not even a thing, it's going to get one shotted. But just once and just within his range, within his normal attack, it will increase his damage to infinite. Then upgrade 6 is going to be only 10,000 cash, a little bit down now. His damage will go up a lot this time to 50,000, range will be 80 SPA, 15 still, and he will get the Winged Dragon of Ra, which will basically be make him immune to getting stunned by those explosive enemies, so that you don't waste your abilities, because as you know, like, Irwin is actually really annoying in that way, because, I mean, not annoying, but still, you need to be careful about that, because if you will click your Shinzo vs. Sergio, when Owen is stunned, you are going to sell the whole game and it's very easy for that to happen if you're on a high wave and there's a lot of explosive enemies. You will not be able to buff and you basically are done for. So that you don't waste these really useful abilities that cost so much, you basically would need to use, 
I mean, it's just like a passive ability, okay? And then uh, upgrade six is his final one. Hundred thousand cash damage, seventy-five thousand range, ninety SPA fifteen, and he will get the ability Exodia the Forbidden One, which will incinerate every enemy in the map. It can be used only once, and the reason why he incinerates every enemy in the map is kind of because in the enemy itself, like <laughs> Exodia basically is like an auto win. That's basically what it is. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.